Thank you. I am not a lesbian. Thank you very much. That I am as disappointed as you are. I don't know what went wrong. I did not set out to look like Rachel Maddow Sr. This just happened. I know, by this time in the show, you think you would have had at least one, but no, nothing. Just, this is as close as you're going to get. Uh, I am straight, but not a breeder. Uh, that means I'm not a dyke. I'm a dichotomy. Thank you. My mom still thinks she's going to get grandkids out of me. <laughs> I'm like, really, Mom? Really? You want to raise the mutant spawn of these hard-boiled eggs? I don't think so. No, but, uh, but I love my mom, though. I love my mom to death, which is any minute now. Uh, don't aw Look at me and extrapolate from known data, okay? She's not younger than me. A couple years ago for her birthday, my mom wanted a copy of the book uh, Final Exit. Yeah, it's about dignified suicide. That's cool. Now, now she's telling me about a new book she wants. And I'm like, Mom, you haven't even used the one I got you last year. Come on. Not made of money. It's OK. She, I told her all these jokes, and she laughed, OK? She doesn't know why, but she laughed. It's cool. My mom used to be really good at identifying flowers. You know, She was into gardening. She knew all her wildflowers. She's forgotten some, you know, so I, I found this, uh, this app where you point your phone at a flower and it will identify the flower. I know, I had no idea it would be so easy to just download an app to replace my mom. <laughs> it's that easy. My mom told me uh, this shirt makes me look fat. Uh, I told her I am fat. This shirt makes me look honest. Yeah, uh, so I am single. What? No, really, I, I am. I don't care, though. I used to care. I used to be like, I'll never find the perfect man. Now I'm like, I'll never find a man perfect. <laughs> don't care. OK, I can't die alone soon enough. Uh, no, my, my dream is just that my obituary contains the phrase, neighbors noticed a funny smell. That's all I want. I, yeah, I just, I got, I got friends telling me I'm supposed to be a cougar now. Well, eh. I, okay, first of all, cougars are a myth, all right? Cougars are a myth created by stuff like that song, Stacy's Mom. Okay, if you're over 30, Stifler's Mom. Right, okay, if you're my age, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> All right, you're only as old as your references, kid. All right. No, I, I, I can't get with younger dude. Younger guys don't get what's going on under here, okay? There's a lot of suspension <laughs> of disbelief. Okay, you're a Hollywood crowd. You should get that one. Come on. Suspension of discipline. Anyway, I don't believe it myself. Okay. Here's the thing though. You see, this, this is vintage. Okay, this is small batch, artisanal, handcrafted, barely used cooch. Okay. I should have a line of hipsters around the block waiting to gentrify this. I should be getting so much neck beard, right? I may not be the mayor of Pound Town, but I'm on the city council, so respect. Uh, I'm gonna be careful, I just got new health insurance and found out the only hospital I can go to is called Resurrection. I don't wanna go to a hospital that believes in resurrection. I just don't think they're gonna try as hard. Uh, I actually, I went there and they asked me if I was pregnant. I said, said but you didn't been talking to my mom? Because she's, no. I said, no, and they go, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. We women have little ways of knowing things, like if we've even seen a dick in the past nine months. <laughs> I said that one night and a woman in back said, you know, you don't have to see it. 
Fair point. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Amanda Cohen. Thank you.